Hello there everybody, guys and gals, it's Shiny Sparky 14 and welcome back to more Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. So last time, we, well, I mean, how we say last time we did some stuff, and yeah, that's true, we did some stuff, but I want to, you know, well, okay, first of all, let's, let's go ahead and start with the crops, here we go, um, where the hell's our watering can, I'm already messing up, there we go. And time to water, time to do something extremely boring. So it is now 7 a.m., you know... Very fine summer day. Let's go ahead and look at. Yep. Well, wait. Um. Yeah, it is. It is. I thought those. I thought those were clouds. Can you believe that? I saw some slight white, and I thought they were clouds, but I think they're just like the glare from the sun or something like that. But whatever. So as you can see, the turnips are actually growing really quickly. As you can see, I don't know why the crops are like that. Look at that one. This crop right here. I don't understand why this turnip is growing faster than these other ones when clearly I watered them all the same amount and planted them at the same time. I don't understand that. Once again, in the rare case in which you are watching this while I'm still uploading videos, you know, day to day of this, go ahead and comment. Well, I mean, you can even comment after. I don't mind, but the thing is, it's not going to be very relevant anymore or helpful for, you know, like for me, for actually making these better videos and actually talking about them and making it more informative. So yeah, that, that's always a problem, but go ahead, you know, you can go ahead and comment, I don't mind. Now, um, oh yeah, what are you doing that? What am I, oh, another one of these, I always forget. Well, not I always forget, I always pick them up, but usually when I actually play, oh, stop being hungry. Usually when um, I was playing, let's say, before I was capturing this, what do you mean capturing? I mean recording this. A lot of people don't understand what I mean, what I mean by capturing. But yeah, when I played this game, before I was recording, you know, years before and stuff like that, I never really used a walkthrough, so everything I found, it was really just because I actually found it myself, but not everything, most things. Eventually, I used a walkthrough to find the really secret stuff, you know? And the really fun things about, well, you know, finding stuff in Harvest Moon games, especially this game, is just finding the locations of like flowers or those royal ferns or stuff like that, you know? Like, you go across the entire map and you're like, Oh look, there's another one of these! Or, Oh look, there's another flower, you know? And that's always really fun. To me, it's always really fun to do that, just because of the... I didn't even brush the cow, huh? Sorry, Alice. I don't mean to be all greedy. You know, I don't mean to just milk you and then run off. I gotta brush you. There you go. But yeah, it's always really fun, you know? To just do things like that, to just actually play the games for yourself, because I know that there's a lot of people that, I want to say, every single time they buy the game for the first time, they use a walkthrough on it, and I mean, I understand you're trying to go for 100% or not miss anything, but in my opinion, it really destroys the whole game, because, I mean, part of the playing a game is, you know, that's what a video game is for, you know, you play it, you play it to yourself, and that's why every that that's the whole argument of you know let's play being very unique and being for fair use, which of course I agree with, because you know every playthrough is unique, and you're taking out that uniqueness of your own playthrough of you discovering things like that just because you want the 100% running. You know you're doing it the real 100% way from the first time. I'm not saying you can go ahead and and never do that, but I mean because I've done that. You know once I play the game a couple times. I play it again, but this time a 100% through, you know, I use my knowledge of what I know from the game from those playthroughs, as well as using a walkthrough, whether it's a book or online or something like that, you know? The ones that are very famous for that are, well, the Final Fantasy games, as we all know. No, not Milk. Final Fantasy games, I mean, although they can be very easily, you know, beaten without a walkthrough, and I mean beaten as just a campaign. It's very easy to beat the game without a walkthrough, obviously, you know, you just... Yeah, you'll, you'll find the occasional hard boss, and then you'll die, you know, once or twice, but... Then after that, you're like, okay, I, I learned, you know, I learned, so now I know how to beat this guy, stuff like that. But as far as the side quests go in those games, oh my god, you... There is no way in hell that you could ever 100% a Final Fantasy game without ever receiving a single point of advice. It's impossible, you just can't do it. There's no way. But then there's other games that are, you know, a lot more straightforward, and, well, those are very simple. But yeah, um, so like for example, Mario games. Mario games are very easy to, well, you know, um, 100%, just because, really, like for example, Super Mario 64, what I'm doing. What is there really in terms of 100%ing that game? Well, getting all the power stars, 
you know, it only takes 70 power stars to beat the game. I'm talking about the original version, by the way, not the remake. The remake has 150. But, you know, you only need 70 power stars to beat the game, and that's not difficult at all. And then the second thing is you need 120 power stars to 100% the game. So, I mean, with that, it's very, it's easily possible for anybody to beat the game without ever looking at a walkthrough. Because it guides you, you know, you're like, oh yeah, there's seven stars in every course, you already know that. And then there's the Castle Secret Stars. Now, the Castle Secret Stars are the ones that are a bit more secretive. You know, those might, like, for example, for those, for those of you guys that have, that have played the game, oh, I forgot to eat, oh my god. For those of you guys that have played Super Mario 64, you would know that there's this one course, and not course, there's one Castle Secret Star that has a slide, a secret slide. And if you do that slide, you get a star. That's really simple. But there's another one in that same slide. If you beat that slide in under, I think it's 21 seconds, you get another secret star. That, to me, is one of the most secretive things in the game. And it's, and to be honest, it's not a huge, huge secret. Well, kind of is, but you get the idea. It is a very big... I'm going to eat one of these, but... Yeah. But yeah, okay, I'm talking too much about that Mario game. and I, mean, I enjoy Mario games. I like Nintendo, but, you know... I just, I'm just not a big fan of um, them not supporting big big name LPers able to monetize their videos. I'm just not a big fan of that. I mean, almost every single developer is now giving support because of what YouTube has done to the MCNs, you know, the multi-channel networks, of them losing their power and them being able to be gone. So, a lot of developers are coming out and saying, oh, you know, now we're going to give you permission so you can monetize, you know, our, our uh, footage, stuff like that, but... Nintendo's not doing it. They don't give permission, and that's what I really dislike about them right now. And it's a major pain. And hopefully, it changes soon. I mean, if you're watching this video like months or years later, probably everything I just said right now with all that is probably not true at all. It's going to be completely different, and I hope it is because I don't like that. Some people are probably going to leave YouTube because of it, and some people are just going to completely change their content, which is a very, very big pain. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. But anyways, we're digging. I haven't even talked too much about Harvest Moon today, really. I'm only in the beginning, but yeah. So, you know, Harvest Moon is a fun game. And I'm actually getting some good stuff here today. I think I've already picked two or three items. This is my either my third or fourth. I don't know. Finding some good stuff for Nami. Those uh, statues and... Yeah, see, she only accepts statues and fossils from here. She doesn't accept the... What's that called? Moon or or the coins, which is freaking annoying, but whatever, I'll just give those to someone else, you know? And like I was saying, pretty much everything here in this Harvest Moon game, what a lot of people like to do is just sell the stuff, which is going to make them rich, of course, and that's good, you know, being rich, having a lot of money, but it will not grant you a complete 100% run because you're not going to be able to make friends with everybody and get all the gifts that they give you and stuff like that, so that's a big problem. But, you know, like I said, I am going to be trying to do everything, at least, you know, completely everything. So, yeah. And again, if you guys ever have any comments or something, go ahead and leave a comment and I will reply to you. So, yeah, I'm just digging over here. Well, they're, they're just talking. That's what it looks like. So, how was your day? How was your day, Flora? Oh, yeah, you know, this and this is, yeah. Well, I'm over here doing all my work, you know, sweating my ass off and... Or, not sweating, working my ass off. And... Well, yeah, you know, that's that's pretty much it. Okay, I'm getting bored of this. I can't find any more stuff. What the hell? Thank you. Yeah, I think the dig site closes at around... It's either 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. And, I mean, I would stay all the way just to experiment with that, but I kind of don't want to do that either because, well, you know, it's, uh, it's going to take too much time away and I want to do other stuff, you know? I realize that... This game is going to get really boring eventually. Like I keep saying, I don't know why I keep saying that, you know. If that's all I'm going to be talking about, oh, you know, the game's going to be really boring. and It's going to be a boring freaking commentary, so i got to shut up about that. I'm done. Oh, just get one more, actually. Why not? Well, I say I'm going to get one more, and I'm probably going to be here for like three more hours. Okay, you know what? Screw this. It's already 2.30 p.m. Screw this. I'm out of here. Are you finished? Yes, I'm finished. Do you really? Yes. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Oh my God. So let's what we talked about, huh? Okay, uh, not talked about. Let's. What am I talking about? Oh my God. 
Hi Matt, let's see what we found today. An old coin, okay, that's good. Hmm, nothing important. How is that the best thing? I'm pretty sure the fossils and the freaking human statues and the moon ore are way better. Than that damn old coin, but whatever. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Before that, I want to knock on this empty space, though. Because it's locked in that for sure. Yep, it's locked. Okay, oh, I was supposed to... I think I could have given him a gift before he went inside. But whatever, it's too late for that, so, you know. Let's just go. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh my god. Oh look, another one of these royal ferns. Did I did I ever pick this one up before? I mean, I knew it was here because I picked it up in previous playthroughs, but I don't think I had picked it up in this playthrough. I'll have to go back and look at the videos when I edit them. Because yes, if you guys are asking, um, yeah, I do um, play these games. I mean, see... I, like a couple days before but the thing is I don't want to play them way too before because that's gonna be a problem especially when okay because see, a lot of content creators they don't like playing the game you know recording their videos many many days before they just like to do one day before or sometimes even just like 12 hours before stuff like that but you know because if you do it too far before and then people start to comment and say hey, maybe in this part can you do this and this you'll have already missed it because you know not that because you have already played it, you know, like, so you can't do anything about it. That's a problem. No, I'm gonna give it to her. Uh, yeah, you can have it. Does she actually buy it if it says you can buy it? I wanna do that. <laughs> it seems really, um, interesting, I wanna say. Here's Nina. I'm already, I'm not gonna give you a present today. I mean, I'm not saying I'll never give you a present, but, I mean, come on, you. Here's a mugwort for you. Hey, good afternoon to you. Oh, you bought it? Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see who else we have to make friends with. Um, Let's go inside the bar. How about that? Inside the bar. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Hi, Shiny. What are you here for? Uh, To get drunk and wasted? That's what bars are for. I guess it's a silly question to ask of a customer. Correct. Yeah, you'd be right. I just broke three dishes. I'm so clumsy. Ah. Whenever I have something on my mind, I break things. Okay. That's why I came out here to think. Out here, the, you know, when someone says out here, it's really like far. You know, if you were out to the pond and you said I'm out here for you know to think, yeah, it would make sense. But you're right outside of the inn or whatever. Oh my god. Um, go back to. <laughs> Thanks. I feel so much better now. You're going to the bar, right? Well, it's right there. Take your... What do you mean, take your time? Okay, I swear, some of these cutscenes are so stupid in this game. You're like, take your time. And, and, and I appear inside the bar. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Yeah. Here, take this. Yes. I'm pretty sure I'm already good friends with you, but whatever. I need to make friends with Griffin, too. Oh my god. Um. Let's go ahead and look at the diary. Two red hearts, oh my god, not bad, not bad at all. Okay, um, let's, uh, let's see. No, not you, Takakura, I can't get, I need to start giving gifts to Takakura, but the thing is, he only accepts recipes, which is a freaking pain in the butt. I think that's all he takes, cooked food. He doesn't take anything at all besides that, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I'm right when I say that. Hey, look, there's some dude on the run, oh, that's Wally. Wally, <laughs> It reminds me of the Disney movie. Oh my god, that is one of the cutest films ever that has, like, no freaking... Like, I don't know how to explain that, but oh my god, it's, uh... Yeah, take it. God damn it, Cody, you... Uh, let's see, would you take a freaking... Milk? Probably not. Shut up! Oh my god, can you please just take these damn things... Do you take this? No. Okay, why does he say food? Are you... What the hell? You know what? Whatever. I'm done with this part, okay? I'm done. Next time, we're going to do something else in Harvest Moon. Continue on from here. So, goodbye.